the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Welcome back into Daybreak. The time now is 624. Today is Wellness Wednesday and Baptist Health Dr. Anthony Fletcher is here to talk about how tobacco and nicotine and cigarettes can impact your heart. Dr. Fletcher, always great to see you. Thanks Good for morning. being here this morning. Good to see Start you. with nicotine specifically. We teased that a little bit before the break. What are all the products that can be found in? Well, nicotine is a very prominent product. You know, of course, obviously, cigarettes are the most obvious source mm -hmm. that we know about, and nicotine is absorbed from cigarettes. But smokeless tobaccos, uh, things such as snuff, dip, uh, chewing tobaccos, mm -hmm. uh, and most recently, you know, the industry is trying to push e-cigarettes. Well, nicotine's in e-cigarettes also. So all the things that we talk about with nicotine are common and prevalent in all of those products. Why is it so difficult for folks to stop smoking? You know, that's, that's very interesting, but most people don't realize that nicotine is a drug. And the National uh, Institute on Drug uh, Addiction talks about nicotine being one of the most addictive drugs that's out there. And so that's why so many people have problems. They're truly mentally, psychologically, and physically sometimes addicted to nicotine. So that can cause heart problems down the road? Yes, sir. It uh, certainly can contribute in many ways. Number one, uh, nicotine causes increase in blood pressure. And that happens because nicotine causes the arteries to spasm or narrow, and that limits blood flow to the heart. Okay. Uh, and that subsequently can even lead to a heart attack as a result of spasm and then clot forms on top of that spasm and you have a, a heart attack. Nicotine also increases your heart rate. Uh, and by increasing the heart rate, you know, you increase the demand on the heart and that can aggravate certain conditions. Uh, nicotine also uh, has effects on cholesterol. It can lower your good cholesterol, your productive, uh, your protective cholesterol, okay. as we've talked about in the past. And so nicotine has many, many potential uh, things that it can do with the heart. What about non-cardiac events and effects? Non-cardiac events, you know, obviously lung disease comes to mind. Sure. You know, we certainly have uh, increase in secretions as a result of the use of nicotine. You have bronchial spasm, which is narrowing of the uh, bronchioles, of the, the breathing tubes to the, uh, to the heart, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, to the lungs. And then also uh, nicotine uh, can cause uh, COPD or emphysema. Yeah. And the most important thing about that is that even if you quit smoking, you're still at risk for increased uh, problems with COPD for two to three years after you smoke. Wow. Yeah, there's certainly some issues can arise from something just so seemingly simple as Absolutely. you said, just one, one drug like that can cause yes. a lot of problems and that's why you need to speak with a healthcare professional. If you've been looking to uh, stop smoking or stop using smokeless tobacco to get away from nicotine, you can contact the Baptist Health Health Line. Uh, it's, the number's on your screen, it's right there, or just go to baptist-health.com to look at the programs they have available to help you to keep on amazing as always. Thank you so Absolutely. much for coming to Dr. Fletcher. Thank you this morning. Thank you, we'll see you mm -hmm. next time.